As always, we'll begin by removing the bottom case. First, carefully unscrew the five Phillips screws using a standard Phillips micro screwdriver. Before proceeding, ensure the laptop is completely powered off by pressing and holding the power button. To remove the bottom case, I'll be using a small suction cup to gently lift it. Starting from any rear corner is crucial, as the front side has mounting clips that can be damaged if pulled incorrectly. Once I lift one corner with a suction cup, the process becomes straightforward. I prefer using my fingers to carefully gauge the pressure while removing the case. Now, with the bottom case removed, we'll get a clear view of the laptop's internal components. The battery is directly mounted without a separate cable connection. To replace it, remove six Phillips screws and carefully lift the battery out. Beneath it, there is a clear plastic keyboard protection layer designed to prevent spills from reaching the motherboard. The SSD is easily upgradable or replaceable by removing two screws. However, the RAM is soldered directly to the motherboard, so always verify the RAM specifications before purchasing a laptop. Otherwise, you won't be able to expand it. The Wi-Fi module is also soldered to the motherboard, making repairs costly if it fails. On the right side of the laptop, the USB-A and audio ports are removable with the screws, where all ports on the left side are soldered directly to the motherboard. For those who are looking for a CMOS battery, it's a small round yellow wrapped battery connected via black and red wiring. If you plan to remove or replace the cooling fan and heatsink, be sure to reapply thermal paste to prevent overheating. That's it for today, wishing everyone love and peace.